When I was nine years of age, I realised, because I was a big fan of the Radio Times, that uh, going through the schedules at Christmas and through the weeks, is that there was these, all these shows that were American. And I thought, where do they come from? I know they come from America, but how do they get in the schedule? How did they, who, who put them there? And this is a nine-year-old thinking, thinking this in 1968, thinking, blimey, so, so must somebody therefore must have actually bought those or brought them over. So there must be a job that somebody decides what f American shows go. I want to do that job. And the, the, the biggest influence uh, of the, the show that made that happen was Columbo. So when I, Columbo was the big, big show that, ha that was my epiphany where I said, this is, I want to buy Columbo for UK television, you know, as it was BBC One, BBC Two, and ITV, not even a one in sight then. Um, and, uh, and then, of course, that's what I did, went through my career buying, buying shows. And in the end, when I was at Channel 5, I did finally buy Columbo, which was, which was, which was, which was a huge, huge coup for me, and I felt, I felt emotionally rested. <laughs> I think I think um, from a from a growing up perspective, I think Columbo is the most is the show that influenced me the most because it was the one that sort of led me to get into the, the into the into the TV industry. Um, but I suppose in terms of going forward, it, it would I suppose it'd be all those shows that you know I I I bought or that changed the channel, so all the channels. Um, you know, if it was Millennium with Chris Carter when I was at ITV, um, or um, it was Ugly Betty at Channel 4, or uh, 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 Martial Law at Channel 5, um, which sort of all of a sudden opened up much more required shows at, at, at uh, pre-peak, pre um, which was sort of early days where martial arts had just become the big thing and everybody was doing it, and Martial Law was, with Samo Hung was the, uh, was the master um, of, of, of CBS te telly. Uh, out of all those, though, I'd have to say CSI, because CSI, uh, Crime Scene Investigation, was the one show, and that the acquisition of that one show, that totally changed the fortunes of Channel 5. Without it, it probably wouldn't be where it is now. I think that you need to know everything about future technologies, where things are going, how things are delivered, and those platforms. But I think equally are the skills of the past that you mustn't forget how things are made, why they're made, uh, because I think there's a you know you've got to know everything uh, uh, these days. But I, I think the big thing for me is to always get back to people as soon as possible, um, which I know is some people have been talking about Channel Five not doing that. I think it is key that we do that. We've got to do that. Um, so please, that's why a big bit of advice is always follow up on things. Always be on stuff. Don't let things rest. Um, and just keep pushing all the time. So I think part of it is just how you live your life, how you work in the TV environment. But a lot of it is also how you, how you are as a person. And I think you always have to be chasing. Uh, it's very easy for things to fall between the, the cracks. And if you're not going to pick it up, nobody else will.